you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second part of our discussion for the continent of Africa. Hopefully, if we can finish everything um, within today, so by Monday next week, no, we can start with the reporting. If not, then I will just continue with the discussion, have a bit of an activity, and then Wednesday na lang tamag start with the reporting. So, um, I will be providing your designated um, regions for South Africa maybe today, no? So, after na lang sa klase. Okay, so sorry. Sharp yun ako pikas. Before you will start, I would like to show you another video for different um, facts about the geography of Africa. So last time it was more on like the wild wildlife, their um, people. A very short clip for Mantosia. Hello, my name is Kylie and welcome to World Trip Africa. In this video, you'll learn some amazing facts about the countries within the magnificent continent of Africa. Ready to broaden your mind on this trip? Let's go! Because our world is so large, it has been divided into seven geographic regions called continents to make it easier to talk about the countries within them. The seven continents are North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. In this video, we'll focus on Africa. Be sure to watch our other videos to learn about the other six continents. Africa is the second largest continent in the world. It is also the second most populated continent. It is surrounded by water in all directions with the Mediterranean Sea in the north, the Suez Canal and the Red Sea in the northeast, the Indian Ocean in the east and southeast, and the Atlantic Ocean in the west. Africa occupies both the north and southern hemispheres, making it the only continent experiencing both the northern and southern temperature zones. Africa is the hottest continent on Earth, where a lot of the land consists of deserts and dry lands. The equator runs through some countries in Africa. Seven. Okay, please wait for a while, okay. The equator, the lag ang video. Temperature is hotter and more humid than other parts of the Earth, making it feel like summer all year round. It contains the world's largest desert, the Sahara, which is almost the size of the entire United States of America. Africa also contains one of the world's longest rivers, the Nile River in Egypt, cutting through 11 countries. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. Africa is home to some of the world's most amazing animals, like the tallest animal, the giraffe, the deadliest land mammal, the hippopotamus, and the largest animal on land, the elephant. You can also find cheetahs, gorillas, zebras, rhinos, lemurs, and many unique birds. Wow. Africa is the most multilingual continent in the whole world where thousands of languages are spoken with four major language families native to this continent. Arabic is a popular language in Africa, followed by English, Swahili, and French. Interestingly, there are more French-speaking people in Africa than in France. 
Africa is the continent with the most amount of countries in it, 54, with five main geographic regions. Northern Africa, Eastern Africa, Central Africa, Western Africa, and Southern Africa. Let's look at the countries within each region. The countries in Northern Africa are Algeria, which is the largest country in Africa, and Egypt, which is a very popular tourist destination because of the Egyptian ruins. It also contains the capital city Cairo, which is Africa's largest city. Egypt is home to one of the world's oldest civilizations, the Pharaonic Civilization. Continents. Egypt itself occupies the northeast corner of Africa and also the southwest corner of Asia, which is also known as the Middle East. Wow! Also in northern Africa, Libya, Morocco, which is the number one travel spot on the continent of Africa, Sudan, and Tunisia, another popular travel spot. Let's move on to Eastern Africa next. We have Burundi, Comoros, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, where the oldest human remains were found, Kenya, Madagascar, which is the largest island in Africa, and the fourth largest island in the entire world, Malawi, Mauritius, Mozambique, Rwanda, and the Seychelles which is a group of 115 awesome small islands, making it a popular beach destination. Continuing in this region, Somalia, South Sudan, and Tanzania, home to the Serengeti, where thousands of animals migrate or seasonally move to a new area. You have probably seen images of zebras impressively marching in large herds. Finally, in the eastern region of Africa, we have Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe home to one of the world's seven natural wonders, Victoria Falls, which is the largest waterfall in the whole world. Let's travel to Central Africa now. Looking at the countries, we have Angola, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and the Republic of the Congo. Finally, you can find Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Sao Tome and Principe. Okay, now for the countries in Western Africa. Benin, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Mali, and Mauritania. Continuing in this region, we find Nigeria, which has the largest population in Africa, Niger, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. Finally, in Southern Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, Namibia, and South Africa, which is the second most popular vacation spot in Africa. And finally, Eswatini, which was formerly Swaziland. Now, 54 countries in the amazing continent of Africa. Which region do you want to visit? While you dream about the deserts and animals found in Africa, you can practice what you learned in our fun online games and quizzes. And remember to always be clever. Okay, so that was um, the geography of Africa. Sabot juga mau iru. Okay, so sabot. Ia terangkan dari ini.
Okay, so sorry kay naen kapaak tong usa ka iro tus gawas sabak kay mong iro daghan kay mong iro sa balay. Okay, um so that is the geography of Africa. No, um as you can see there are five regions, so we will just divide them according to kinsa ang maka report per ano no kay there are other uh, there are other regions na daghan pud sila countries no um within that region. So maybe some of you can just share um within sa usa ka region kay Maybe I'll just provide that detail, siguro karon, no, so that katong kinsa ang unang makareport, mo ay um more percent on Monday, siguro Wednesday na lang, kay activity la siya siguro ko on Monday, no kay wala po yung kuryente on Sunday, so I'll just assign siguro later this week for the reporting, okay? So, those were just some of the details about South Africa. Oh, no, sorry, the continent of Africa. So we will now continue with its culture. You no, know, um, the different tourist attractions in Africa, and of course, so I will show you, um, pictures of the different attractions that can be found in Africa. You can remember previously we learned about the famous people, about um the population of Africa, um its products, no, mga natural resources that you can find in Africa, its languages, its religions, and currency, you know. So now we are um beginning to know all the different cultures and life of the different people in Africa. So, when we talk about different cultures class, now there are other countries that have different practices compared to the other. No, ang Oban pod is very similar. They are nearby countries, Raman, so very similar ang culture and even um, the way of living nila. No, so magdepende po siya kay. Of course, they are, they are divided into. Not just fifty-four countries, no, but divided into the north and south, no, napote mga East Africa, and some of them have different way of living based on the climate, put no, based put sa most of the religions and tribes nga naadit to. There are other tribes mangkod that is quite prevalent in other countries of Africa that up until now they would still um reject modernity. No, they still practice katong mga kinaraan ra Japan nga mga way of living such as cannibalism. There are also other um countries in Africa nga that is so modern and so very popular just like South Africa no nga we're in. They have big universities there, they have big cities, no, and and even one of the ex most expensive cities can be found in in the content uh, in this continent. So sagul-sagul siya no na ay oban nga gapuyo sa kapo brihon and not really living in modern times na iuban nga embrace ng modernity and are thriving and one of the centers of trade in Africa as well. So the culture of Africa is varied and manifold, consisting of a mixture of tribes that have their own unique characteristics. And what is so, um, what they call this? Interesting about Africa is just like any other old civilizations class. No, they have their own deities. No, some tribes still worship um their own gods. No, like very similar to the Egyptian gods. Siguro, um, ang anal nshud ka popular and civilization sa Egypt and Rome that and Greek. No, kay of course kapikat rama na ang mga Roman gods from the Greek gods. So. We know more about the mythology of the different big civilizations before, but they have their own deities put sa Africa, no. And so, girl, because of that, uh, of their landscape, na medyo may pagkadeserto, very humid, no. Anan dili kayo fertile ang obang lands, at is why um, most of the big civilizations can be found elsewhere. But Africa, uh, that doesn't mean Africa wasn't. A usual civilization back then, no. They don't have big edifices or the kaayong infrastructures like the Egyptians, like in Mesopotamia, or like for example, no, um, um, like in Babylon or in Rome 
or sa mga Greeks na dagko siya kaya up until now it still exists, no? Wala may nga na ang Africa but they have big tribes and up until now that culture still exists, no? Kapadayan siya pun kung unsa sila sa una, no? Up until today, they still have that way of living but not in all countries, ha? Similar tribe, uh, uh, several tribes, ra. So African culture is expressed in its arts and crafts, folklore and religion, clothing, cuisine, music and languages. Just like um, the Filipinos, no, no, we were colonized by Europeans, no, by the Spaniards. No, um, Africa was also colonized, but in ana ka strong ang ilang culture class nga gamay ang influence ana sa ilang tibuok jud nga way of living. Lai sa to abang up until karon na arad siya po hints of kadang Spanish nga influence or Chinese influence no ang sila is very strong jud ang African culture no, within them even though they are colonized by westerners way back pa and even gani made into slaves so Africa is so full of culture with it not only changing from one country to another but within a single country many cultures can be discovered so let's start first with their costumes. No? So the traditional African clothing is usually worn by the people of Africa during ordinary days. So unlike sa ito, we only wear um, during Buwan ng Wika or for example, if there are like special events that we are required to wear, Filipiniana and Barong. No? But in them, no, some of their traditional clothing, they still wear that in modern times. No? So in some instances, these traditional garments have been replaced by Western clothing introduced by European co colonialists. So, some of them still wear like jeans and shirts, no. But those who are living in like far-flung areas, those who are living in tribes, they up until now they still wear traditional African clothing, which is the kanga, no. So, marasha og ka nang put together ang uh, koan nga masayita og ganat anang sa ato ako ng ingani nga klase gani klas nga um nga ginagamit nato ba sa kaligo na limot ako sa term ginagamit kina to na siya pang sash kung kung mag worship worship na limot na ako sa term o sa ilaha they make use of this kind of clothing as both their veil no to cover their heads for women and also para put irap around sa ilaha nga lawas no now um Unlike no, sa those who, who practice Islam, okay, mostly of the religion man there is Africa is Islam man po. That's why they cover their heads. No, kay, for them, they have to cover their beauty so that it cannot attract um, other male. No, para dili ko na siya makakos o sin sa mga lalaki. So, anak, conservative ang religion nga Islam. No, so because maybe of islamophobia mura nang makakita tag na iga cover nga babae no mahadlok da yun ta kay terorista but no no that's just uh colonialist think uh, way of thinking no kanang murag ang mga americans told us to be afraid of these things because of because of their indifference no that's why na atay islamophobia but the reason why they cover their faces their hair even parts of their skin it's because ko anuan siya class no kanang Basta ganit, ki, ma, anang, makinis ka, niya, for example, you're very pretty, you need to cover all of those assets, no, because your face only intended for your husband, no, or your family members, such as your brother or your father. <clears throat> but there are also limitations put on as a family members, no. Kay, kanang, they believe that the body is a cause of sin, which is true, no, sometimes <clears throat> it can attract people in in the wrong way so that's why they cover it up no they're very conservative no kanailahang way of clothing class very similar to why nuns wear veils and why nuns need to cover up it's not because they're nuns no that's why they do it no it's because of their calling that they need to cover up any parts of their skin or features nila that can attract other people because they intended their body for holiness rajud no kanang dili to seduce or kumumula mo ko nang seduce ka nang mga guwapa na siya kung saan mahiwa na to ana. well of course pa nila to prevent that kind of way no nila nang ginatabunan so you see most of the um, African women also wear this no kay not only because it's their traditional clothing but most of the people living in Africa are Islams no they uh, their religion is Islam so mo man ang ilahang murag purpose no mo man na ang naka 
intend for women no, to to be conservative, no, to cover themselves up, up until karon still have that. So nila imputa kakuan na nila kay it's their it's their religion, no? it's their culture, no. We only need to respect it. So wala usay makakita na kagbabay nga mata ra ang makita na person ng mga Muslim. So di ka angay mahadlok, no kay it's just Islamophobia nya. Kanang di pa believe ra sa mga Americans nga bad tanan ang mga Muslims just because you know what we see on television. So just like Christians, no, there are bad Muslims po, there are good Muslims, but let's not like generalize everyone. And so when they have um usual clothing, they cover themselves up. And then still there are some parts in Africa where in um modern clothing man siya, like shirt and mga pantalon, no? Ang sa Africa sa Botswana. Okay, so of course, na iuban ng anak because some of them are practicing other religion. At the same time, they have embraced modernity. Mo nang uban ng t-shirt, kapantalon, no. So sa ilahad ito sa mga tribes, ang anak ay Japan ilahang clothing. Um, other than that, it's also to protect them from the very harsh climate in Africa. Okay, next ang salalaki na yung ani na sa Algerian man. So kung ano baggy. Pants and then mag long sleeves and then mag na ay dako nga sash na nakakover sa ilang shoulders and then a cap. So that's the traditional clothing for Africans, no? So ang tawag niya is um, bornos or woolen cloth clothing. Okay, so I proceed to the foods, no? So um, you have the pop and place or shisha nyama in South Africa. So it presents the colors of a feast. Marasha og sinugba good class no different kinds of meat you have. Sausages, no beef, pork, um lamb, no the kanke glassing ako and uh, kinds of meat. So pop and vase, literally maize, porridge, and meat is a colorful umbrella of a term that encompasses virtually any combination of starch and brace brace na ha as the initial na double A nun, braised or stewed meat with an obligatory side serving of spicy gravy, relish, or chakalaka. So, ang chakalaka nila class is, um, it's a special gravy or sauce no, that has a lot of chilies and spices. No? So, it goes together with the grilled or stewed eh, braised meat. And then, sa gula na siya o sabaw, um, Usually, uh, maize porridge, uh, like a vegetable porridge, no, that goes well with um, the stewed or braised meat. Next is the koshari in Egypt. So, delicious, of color and appetizing, but this is not um, ko ano dili man niya ingon nga insects na siya class. No, these are actually a combination of different kinds of vegetables. So. If you want a taste of what is of what ordinary Egyptian families eat at home, so they eat the koshari. So it's a, nur a nourishing vegetarian dish of rice, lentils, macaroni, garlic, and chickpeas, brought together by uh, brought together by spicy tomato sauce and topped off with fried onion. So it's a combination of different vegetables, no. Um, di man siya kinilaw no so margi stew dra man siya or naging gipastiman nga um different vegetables o nya gisagulan na siya og um spicy tomato sauce no and then na ay mga fried onion so dili siya it doesn't look that appetizing at first maybe because of different colors of their rice no kay or their lentils no pero okay ra man siya no mura pud siya og kanang Instead of pasta, vegetables, ang kuyog sa tomato sauce. Next is boni chow. So this is really quite common in South Africa. No, you would often hear this one being served in other restaurants as well. In Western countries, no, because boni chow is really the most popular dish in Africa. So mara siya ka ng gi, ko ano gi, ano sa tawag na, gi halo. 
nga nga bread nga gisulod dira ang murag caldereta no nga dish and then they serve that as their state food so actually i don't know where uh, why they call it bunny chow no others explain nga marado ko no og bunny ang itro sa bunny chow but it's not no um ang uban pod would think that it's called bunny chow because it is served just like bunny's food no nga we're in ang bunny food raba class nga nga not like vegetables so but like supplements kay mura po siya different colorful nga ibutang sa saka bowl no so panagitawag nilag bunny chow but you know there are different origin stories how they named it that way but ang um, reason why it's so popular because ninut uh, na may mga good siya nga, nga curry no it's not like atong hunaw na is bro caldereta but it has a thick rich tomato sauce and it's really spicy no just like um kanang mga thais class in thailand nga they really like spices no ang um, africans are also really f- fond of spicy food so this is a hollowed out half of a quarter loaf of white bread so ang loaf kana class kana dili siya sliced bread na ha loaf bread siya wala gi slice to tungaon siya no into a quarter is kana dili puri ana ka dako no and then i hollow kwa anang katong tunga and then sudlan dayon siya og curry so the meat and vegetable curries that fill the bunny chow were brought to Africa by Indian indentured laborers who came to South Africa in the 19th century to work on the sugarcane fields. It's no surprise that, of course, this is from India because India is um, quite known to have a lot of curry meals. No, dira jud na kalabanan class mo. Agduy kag India class kalabanan jud sila hang mga common foods are curry. So when they went to out uh, to Africa. You no, know, they also introduced this kind of food to them, and up until now, no, more na siyag staple sa ilaha. So this is some form of street food, you no, know, for the South Africans. Okay, let's now proceed to the famous landmarks. So let's start with the pyramids of Egypt. So the Great Pyramids near Cairo are the world-renowned Egyptian icons pictured in various Hollywood movies. So actually, class, this was built. Um, there actually has been a debate where those who built pyramids are voluntary laborers or slaves, no? Because Egypt has a very long history with slaves. Mo wito sa Bible class nung si Moses went to Egypt to free the Israelites, so to free um, those who were enslaved by the Egyptians, okay? Of course, so dili maning anak ka nice ang ilahang mga infrastructures dako kay lang mga sphinxes, ilahang mga um what they call this, mga pyramids kung wala pa yung mga daghan kay tawo nga mo build ana. No knowing nga nga deserto biya kasagaran ang part sa Egypt. No, naamon pud sila yung mga vegetation class like near the River Nile, pero most of sa ilahang area kay deserto. Okay, so um they actually built pyramids class so that when a pharaoh dies, they are not going a house. There are even some stories, which is, I don't know if it's factual, but this is quite fictional. Man, nga. Once gani panganak na ang usaka pharaoh no, or a potential like heir to the throne, magsugo na silag himo og pyramid. Once nga mahuman na ang pyramid, mapuna time nga mamatay pod ang mga or ang pharaoh or ang leader. Well, this is just kind of murag story story nila no but the main reason why why, why pharaohs die so early no like like Tutankhamun no the kay mga mga Egyptian leaders class nga they die of an early age it is because of um poor health conditions tungod kay na ay incest no Egyptians believe kay ano may guni class sa ilaha nga nga beliefs no sa ilahang pagtuo nga Diba, they have gods, no? They have like Ra, Horus, no? Uh, Osiris, Isis, no? These are the different Egyptian gods and goddesses. No? If you are quite familiar with Egyptian mythology, no, this is very quite popular, very similar to like Greek mythology. They believe that if 
ikaw gani ang sunod nga pharaoh the spirit of osiris ba or horus kay horus is either osiris or horus no um kay sira is the great pan man sun god Okay, marag siya ang grandfather ni Horus, dayon si Osiris kay papa ni Horus pod. No si Horus as the all-seeing eye. Okay. Aba na ka. Al makita ni mo class nga kanang ginaingon nila sa Illuminati kanang nay mata sa pyramid. Actually it's just the eye of of Horus, no. Eye of Horus is the all-seeing eye because he is known to have great eyesight. If you've seen the movie Gods of Egypt, no, although it's not really quite accurate, but some of those details are part of the Egyptian mythology no nga we're in um Horus can transform into a falcon because ang mga gods and goddesses sa Egypt class are half na sila animal heads and then human bodies no and um Horus ha- can transform into a falcon and he has this all seeing eye that he has a great eyesight meaning makita ni tanan so ito if he will be the one nga mo kuan ko no sa pharaoh or si Osiris si Osiris is the father of and he is the father of all the gods no si Osiris so mara po siya si Zeus pa kung sa ano pa okay so going back no um pharaohs believe nga when they become like the king of Egypt uh the spirit of Horus or Osiris will be with them meaning sila na ang mura gisaniban kunuhay sa spirit ni Osiris or ni Horus nga, nga god and therefore the Egyptians would think that the next pharaoh is a god and dili siya in level with the other Egyptians so what they did to preserve that kind of purity that kind of noble blood. Kaya para magkod nila, di ba, mo na ang ginaingon sa mga koan sa una, no, we have this kind of thinking, ah, basta gani, if you are um, of noble blood, no, meaning lahi, it should ang imuhang blood nag course sa mong veins compare sa katong mga mga ordinary people. Mabito no, nga, dili sila ginahan nga magminyo sila sa mga ordinary people kay masagulan ko no, filthy blood ang ilahang dugo which is pure and noble daw ko. No, mo man ilahang mag way of thinking sa una. Where in fact, that is so untrue, no? Nga, we all have the same kind of blood. Nga, nga blood type. Or pariyas lang ang tatanan. Okay, so what they did is to preserve that bloodline. If you're really fond of Game of Thrones, kinahimo po niya mga Targaryens, no? Um, they would wed their sisters or even their mothers, no? Lood kayo, no? So, ang ginabot nila class, happy tatan. Wala pa. Okay, ang ginabuhat nila class is minuan nila ang ilang igso on if they have, a, like, sister wife na nila, no? Or, their distant cousin, no? Or ilahap pa jud nga cousin jud, no? Kung wala jud sila ikson nga babay or even their mothers kung mamatay alam papa. Because they believe that if they marry and reproduce within their bloodline, they would keep their bloodline pure. Which is not true. The main reason in class nga gina-avoid jud na ang incest, no? Because of health reasons. Dili kaya tungod luod po siya. No, kaya mga ero, gaya anak man na. Pero... Sa tua, not only that it's unholy, but in the sense, scientifically speaking, dili siya pwede, it would provide you with a lot of defects. Kay, ano yung mga siya class, no? If mag-share ka the same gene pool with your, like for example, ako no, anak ko, I share the same gene pool with my parents. If I take the same gene pool, like for example, if I have like a distant relative nga, we will have like children, ew. No, we have like children together. They would still be in the same gene pool, and that could cause kanang mga defects. Basa na ane siya dili mo ko um, genealogist no or kanang biologist to properly explain this. But ang bottom line anak class is kung nakas within the same gene pool class, weak ang imu ang genes at the same time. Kwan po siya no? It would cause you a lot of health problems such as you are you are going to be born with deformities no na ajo kay sakit or either kung you if you are not born with deformities like for example di ma deform imong nawong di ma deform imong lawas no healthy ra ka but you also have mental health problems no that is why class a lot of kings in england in the past no 
um have like mental illnesses, they have deformities, no, they are ugly, no. Dili ugly jud nga ka na ugly kay tungod ko an ha. Ugly jud in the sense nga they have deformities like, class like the hunchback of Notre Dame nga anak nga deformity. It is because they kept their bloodline pure ga gapabilin ra ang ang gene pool within sila ga recycle ra ang ilahang genes kay tungod wala nila gisagol with another person no. Ilahang pakasal nilang igsuon na sila anak sa igsuon or sila hang mother and kana palandaan is a disaster for the DNA of the of the offspring. So mo na shot class nga sometimes pharaohs can live so short no they have lived short lives kay dali sila magkasakit they have deformities no they have sickness they have different illnesses because of incest. So mo na class igura pud mo human ang pyramid mamatay pud ang pharaoh. Hmm. Kato ko si King Tutankhamun class mo siguro na siya lingkod dili siya kalakaw kay Uh, his legs are so small because of his deformity in product of incest that's why no he has not lived a fully long life so muna siya class that is why incest is not really it's a taboo not because no, it's also gross no but because it it can provide a lot of defects it can provide a lot of issues for offsprings so these pyramids are built for pharaoh specifically no Nagani uban nga katong osaka queen no nga were in ga ga cross dress siya as lalaki kay di man pwede babae mo lead no um giusab na siya sa time ni Cleopatra pero before pa din like si queen Nefertiti no she was not given a proper burial in a pyramid because she was a woman it was unconventional before so ang natabo no um her body was located elsewhere but because of archaeologists no she was uh laid in a proper burial place that should fit for for pharaohs naa na sila kanang moragkuan class lubunganan pud no kanang valley of kings i think no ang tawag nga were in kung wala pa to naguguba mga different pyramids class no it's rows and rows of different pyramids nga resting place sa pharaoh okay One pyramid can um, house two pharaohs or three pharaohs. Okay, so um, um, pyramids are massive tombs, literally the resting places of the mummified remains of Egypt's dead pharaohs. And then, actually, class, no, these pyramids have riches in them. That's why ganing uh, important ka ayo sa mga sa mga archaeologists, no, to find this in tomb graves because naka house dira ang mga kuan nila class no kanang stawag anang ilahang coffins sarc sarcophages mabana sya nalimot ako sarcophages na ay kanang mga riches kay they believe nga when they die uh, there will be a test and they have to bring their riches with them kay before sila makaagi class no there will be a test and if gamay lang mahatag nga riches they could not pass they could not enter the gateway to eternal nga life no or to the to the nether world so kaning sacred resting places uh, still um continue to receive prayers and food no and even offerings in the afterlife because some egyptians still believe in these practices and of course class no um what is nice about egypt is that they respect actually no although na may uban nga kanang stolen artifacts from these pyramids class pero ang uban ginabutang siya sa museum to be protected. So na yung mga sarcophagus, sarcophagus ba tawag ana no nga naa dira na house ang mga mummified remains sa mga kings. Na na sila yung mga riches na kakuyog class and even gani gabutang sila og olives bato no kay basin daw kuno gutomon ang katong namatay na nga pharaoh nya mo travels after life no wala siya kaunon so mo naga kuan sila class ga buro no ga buro sila og different kinds of food i think olives were one of those food nga food so daghan kasi mga pagkaon ginapakuyog pud sa pharaoh dili ko i cover sa egypt no because egypt is a very uh, one of the oldest civilizations on earth and they have a lot of culture puno if we can only uh, discuss egypt on a sep uh, on a separate ko ano daghan ka itag ma cover kay dako dako pud siya og na-contribute sa culture sa Africa. Okay, also have Mount Kilimanjaro. Kay kung i-check if 
is almost 10. So, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, uh, Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania is one of the highest mountains in Africa. So, it reaches up a hulking 19,340 feet in the sky and is the tallest freestanding mountain in the entire world. Luckily, tourists can get an exhilarating view of the countryside, wildlife reserves, and glaci glaciers below quite accessibly from Uhuru Peak. The mountain's highest point. There are a lot of people that would also climb Mount Kilimanjaro, no? But nagudri times nga maglisod sila, and they have near-death experiences. But of course, mas kuyod ang Mount Everest, no? Nobody has ever reached the top of the summit, the no? pinaka peak, rin sa Mount Everest, because it's so perilous. Next, we have Victoria Falls in Zambia. It's one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. Thundering ang iyang sounds class no kay ang ala ka kusog ang ang flow sa tubig underneath nga mag fog siya at the same time mag like nice thundering sounds no mura po siya gakilat ang tingog no because it's it's that heavy no the flow of water drops below the highest point should. so bordering the lost river beds on the other side of Zambia and Zimbabwe mo si Oya Tunya which translate to a smoke that thunders because again no from its name palang daan, no? Gasmoke should ang water pag tupa ito sa ubus class and then kusog ang iyang tingog, no? Again, more a thundering sound. It's the largest body of falling water on earth. The largest waterfall on earth. Victoria Falls is something to behold as it's a diverse wildlife that surrounds them. You can even take a refreshing dip in the natural pools on the Zambian side of the falls. Okay, next is the Shaba National Reserve. Okay, this is the last one na before we will end. So, it's a protected area in the northern Kenya to the east of the Samburu and Buffalo Springs National Reserves. The Shaba Reserve has a dramatic scenery including riverside forests, scattered woodlands, and dry grasslands. Shaba was the setting for the book and film Born Free for the film Out of Africa and the reality show Survivor Africa. So, there are other trips actually class ka offer sila sa Kenya no, and even uh, some parts in South Africa where in um, they offer trips like this. No? Now, you can um, camp no, just nearby wild animals. So, just imagine, ang mong camp is dili lang just a tent. No? Naadar siya balay nga. You can cook. No? Um, you can also pero naa kay kauban nga ranger anak class. No? Kay in case of the wild animal, you know, if it's a lion, you can protect it from So, although it's a compound, um, <clears throat> you can cook there. No, you, some more camping activities, like a house within, you know, um, like a nature reserve. But still, no, um, na ako yung mga wild animals nga makal makasa makasalaag. Muna na akay ka uban sud nga ranger. Okay, so. It's a very nice kind of trip because you get to see wild animals close, closely, no? Okay, or up close because na makasa may nature reserve. No, at the same time, they're free to roam around. No, so makita ka og mga giraffes, elephants, no, or even lions kani. No, pero mahandok man sila og kanang sa mga rangers kay kanang they drive them away, no, far from the um tourists. So in kung yana ka adventures, no, you can try that one. Um, there are also a downside to uh, famous landmarks such as this one. Can I open put class uh, some parts in Africa uh, they raise wild animals to be hunted for sport. So <clears throat> imagine ha mag breed ka og lions o nya mudako na gani na ang kana mga lion cubs class na nay maabot nga mga tourist uh, like hunters no and i-enclose na ang lion sa saka compound nga dili siya kagawas. And then, ang katong tourist, they would pay thousands of dollars just to shoot that animal. And then, mapapicture da yun siya. That's one of the most illegal um, businesses, no? And attractions in Africa. At this actually, ko anak, class, no, gina bawal na siya, anak. Kaya, although, wala man siya gakosog extinction or um, endangerment sa mga species kay gabreed man sila always sa mga animals but you know the ethics ethically speaking palang daan ba killing an animal for sport although nun we have this so called nga 
nga circle of life nga you kill animals for you to live no uh, japanese gani would even like pray over uh like like dead animals before nila like katayo nila na siya din nila nang lutuon they would even pray before gani partaking in the meal because Murag ilang ipa thank you ba nga they gave up their life so that uh, for the nourishment of human beings so that's ethic that's, that's very ethical no um but kana nga kon sa Africa nga you kill for sport no and mag waste ra ka og life sa usa ka ka lion or usa ka wild animal just because you want to shoot them no that's very unethical no so that's one of the downsides put of the some of the attractions in Africa kay even poaching gani class no is still there that's why bit bitaw class kada gan kay endangered species sa to ang uh, kalibutan no because there are a lot of people who are very selfish and would like to keep exotic animals and these animals should not be kept um in in confined spaces because they are not domestic animals that can adapt to small places no or can even live in houses no they have this animal instinct and dili na siya pwede dapat nga itone down just because um kinalan sila himo og pet no kinalan din sila mag thrive sila ang own natural habitat okay so that's it for now you will just continue the other um famous landmarks and tribes and traditions sa Africa next meeting and then I'll also show you some of the um, tourist attractions no in Africa. So, wala pa kaya na cover tanan. Dito dako dako dito siya. Okay? So, I will just share the names of the students later na ako na lang i-post sa Google sa Google Classroom or sa GC ang names sa mga students and their assigned region and when sila mo report for the continent of Africa. Okay, so that's it for now. Do you have any questions before we will end? Wala na? Okay, so since you do not have any Okay, so since you do not have any questions. Okay, thank you. So, since wala naman tayong mga pangutan at tanan, no, um, we will just end our class with a prayer. So, uh, before that, pwede ay, no, again, if you can still find the time, I know that it is a um a difficult time for you on Sunday, no, no, kay brown out man siya whole day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, but if you have, like, kumaka charge mo sa inyong phone before ana and then maka online na mo because you have data kindly support our student no one of our BSTM students Miss Ivy Angel Nieves because um she will be one of the candidates for elections sa regional office in JTHMAP also we would like to ask for your support in participating in the JTHMAP Cong uh, JTHMAP caravan no because it is our first year in joining and of course, um, it's a big deal, no? Because it's our first time to be together with other big schools and universities in Western Visayas. Okay, and we have also an international speaker ang invite. So, um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for today's class. So let us pray first before we will end our session. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. See, see you on Friday. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you,